Sou a Diana, tenho 43 anos, venho de Portugal, vivo em Sintra e trabalhei como jornalista até há oito anos, à altura em que sofri um acidente vascular cerebral. Era o, era o dia do meu aniversário de casamento. O meu marido chamou por socorro, mas não detectaram logo que fosse um AVC. Acharam que eu era muito nova, eu tinha 34 anos. Recordo-me de ter, de ter acordado numa cama de hospital, ainda com muita dor de cabeça. Feliz por ter sobrevivido, não é? por, por não ter morrido, mas no meio daquilo tudo a pensar, uh, e agora? Será que, será que eu sobrevivi e vou ficar assim, numa cama, sem me conseguir mexer, uh, sem, conseguir, uh, sem conseguir fazer uh, a minha vida, sem conseguir fazer nada? Life After Stroke has been traditionally underemphasized. It has been given relatively little attention by policymakers and in some countries, little attention by healthcare professionals as well. The problem now is that because more people are surviving their strokes and they are needing to find ways to live Uh, with disability or with hidden disabilities. Paralysis remaining, a loss of feeling or a loss of awareness of one side of the body remaining. Blindness, thinking difficulty, speech difficulty, difficulty controlling the bowel or bladder. In addition, plasticity can be very disabling, very painful, affect mobility and uh, daily function. There are services or there are treatments available, but in the community, frequently they tend to be disorganized and patients have difficulty accessing. So they need to be uh, set up in a very clear, accessible way without barriers to patients accessing them. In Italy, the number of subjects who suffered of a stroke represent approximately 1.5% of total population, approximately 1 million. The greatest economic and social burden is due to development of post-stroke complications and including spasticity at the same time. When patients are discharged from our acute stroke unit and are sent to a rehabilitation center at home, very rarely these patients come back to our outpatient clinic. So it is possible that spasticity is not diagnosed and is not treated appropriately. Hence, there is the need uh, to create a pathway specifically for these patients uh, in order to uh, reach an early diagnose and treatment and proper treatment of spasticity. Unfortunately, there exists a relevant underdiagnosis of PSS in Italy and at the same time exists a relevant proportion of patients do not access to rehabilitation. In the Lazio region, where we are, we decided to set up a network of uh, primary and comprehensive stroke centers and rehabilitation centers, uh, and also of a territorial, let's say, territorial neurologists. Uh, our idea is just to keep the track of patients from the hyperactive phase to return home to identify uh, as early as possible spasticity and to treat it. Our ambition is also to identify predictors uh, of spasticity since the very acute phase uh, in order to be able to design at the very end of this project uh, a, a diagnostic a therapeutic pathway for stroke patients developing spasticity. A key issue in this project is just to increase the awareness of patients, I mean the empowerment of patients, but also to increase the knowledge and the awareness of the problem. Among neurologists, those dedicated to the hyperacute phases are not aware at present of what may happen in the chronic phase. Healthcare system change is, is not easy. What's interesting about the Italy experience is that they're looking at uh, the whole of society 
and the impact of the stroke can have across many different avenues. You know, how it it impacts uh, the patient themselves, but how it impacts the healthcare system, how it impacts societal areas. And they've taken a real holistic patient-centered approach to improving healthcare. What they've been able to do is take a fragmented uh, healthcare system, in particular the journey for the patient after they've had a stroke, and bring those uh, healthcare professionals together in an integrated manner. That's the only way to truly drive the change that will impact the patients in the long term. Stroke, of course, does not only affect the individual. They have a family, they have loved ones, they have children, they have maybe a job. And this is a problem that is only going to get bigger as more and more people survive stroke. And you've got to remember that depending on the extent of the stroke, patients can be rehabilitated back into work, back into society. If they don't get the appropriate care, patients can deteriorate quite quickly. And then they become a burden on the healthcare system as they uh, will require more medicines, more rehabilitation, further healthcare resources. And that's money or resources that could be used uh, elsewhere. La medicina física y rehabilitación uh, pues aborda todas las, uh, todas las deficiencias y discapacidades que pueden quedar después de un ictus, que son muchas. ¿eh? No solamente la parte motora de movimiento, sino también la parte cognitiva, la comunicación, uh, la deglución, las actividades de vida diaria, ¿eh? actividades tan cotidianas y tan básicas como vestirse o como ducharse. ¿no? Pues todos esos aspectos se tienen que abordar en un programa de rehabilitación y eso requiere la presencia de diferentes profesionales. Tengo espasticidad aumentada, uh, a mi mano izquierda no consegue hacer movimientos pequeños. E eu só não tenho mais dor porque faço tratamento para controlar essa espasticidade. Tive que realmente hum, ser uma pessoa imaginativa para, para uh, voltar a fazer uh, coisas que faço hoje em dia. Hoje em dia sinto-me mais grata por estar cá, por poder acompanhar uh, a ida para a universidade, por exemplo, do meu filho mais velho, a minha filha do meio que está no liceu, ter sido novamente mãe, um, e poder estar presente nesse dia a dia. E tenho tido essa chance porque faço tratamentos. Ter voltado a caminhar, um, ter saído da cadeira de rodas, voltar a caminhar, possibilitou-me andar novamente de braço dado com o meu, com o meu marido. E isso enche-me de orgulho. Diana is truly inspirational. It showcases exactly what can be achieved if patients are treated early if they're given holistic management, and that could include pharmacological therapy, that could include physiotherapy, uh, but really focusing on a patient's function and goals and what they need to rehabilitate themselves after a stroke. We've seen over the years the improvement in acute care. Um, the next phase is to improve post-stroke care. People need to know that when they're actually surviving the stroke, there is going to be a life that's worth living. And a life worth living, not only for them, but for their family. Oito anos depois do AVC, eu, eu faço praticamente uma vida normal. E descobri que, afinal, consigo ser forte e consigo ultrapassar dificuldades. E mais do que isso, dar força a outras pessoas que estão a passar pelo mesmo.